dặm trong giây phút muốn thế cho tan vỡ núi đôi muốn cha bay cánh bay xuyên vũ trụ lặn xuống muôn trùng giữa bế khơi warning sensitive images whatever excuse killing is is never the tenet of any religion and they profess that they are catholic and even the head of the catholics the pope acts against the tenet yes the number one precept yes thou yes. shalt not kill even the five years old children know the ten commandments if they are catholic or christian yeah yes yes master buddhists also say the same thou shalt not kill jainism hinduism taoism confucianism any top religion advises us not to kill yes mm. master yes ma'am. okay i got a headache communion is supposed to remind everyone about jesus and the things he's done and he taught yeah yes and the compassion he had for everyone yeah if it's a reminder of jesus why are they going against all of that i know you're right even have to treat these murderers with tenderness i saw that in the article no yes can you believe that wow. no and who is having compassion and tenderness for the babies who are just murdered immediately the day they are born or before that nobody is there to talk for the babies yes nobody defends what even if he cries nobody hears yes the whole world is deaf when it comes to goodness and compassion and when nothing is important they uh, yeah they talk big i will see how they react when they are in hell they probably cannot react to anything just burn 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 and screaming screaming oh. there's no chance for anything else no chance to remember god even oh. Oh. they don't know hell that's why i know master has mentioned that uh, the babies when they're inside the womb they know and they can feel the fear ahead of time yes what's going to happen yes but people don't know that people don't think that babies can feel so that's why oh they do they do when the back is stroked it shows his sensitivity to touch and his well developed sensitivity to feel the excruciating pain of abortion um if any of the viewers have ever um uh seen for example a youtube video um of a baby of about 16 to 18 weeks um those babies if you um stick them with a needle for example when we used to do amniocentesis they withdraw in the same way that we would expect to see an, an adult human withdraw from pain um studies have shown that they release catecholamines that's the stress hormones if they undergo something painful in the uterus at that point um and endogenous endorphins the um uh the hormones that the body releases to try to counteract pain um the inhibitory system is not working yet at those early gestational ages which means that those babies probably actually feel pain more severely than an older baby would how can the baby not feel that many people have babies even if they don't see the see the baby they react when they first born already they know the mother they even smile inside the womb already oh wow there are photographs from the ultrasound they can photograph babies inside the womb yes yes yeah people know that and there are many books saying that if you want your babies uh smart and you read the books to them and play music that is good for them yeah all that they are human beings just smaller younger and we all go through this period yes yes fetuses and then babies born and then a child and then adolescence and then adult and then get old and then die we all go through that yes yes my god imagine imagine if it's you oh yes being chopped apart so that they can get out or pull them out so that you can kill them or poison inside and they die in agony yes cannot even cry and so much fear Yeah yeah they know everything in advance they are discussed in front of them even though they are in the womb they know everything already they have so many yes they understand and the thing people don't understand is that you have to keep the children for your own country and your own merit also because it's like saving a saint ah 
children when they were young, when they were in the warm, warm, and outside until four, five, or even up to eight years old, they are directly connected with heaven, directly connected with God. Ah, so they're pure. Yeah, very pure and connected with this divine energy. Yes. So the more children you have, the better for you. Uh, imagine if you even save a lot, millions of them. How much merit you earn? Yes. You save like angels, you save saints, because at that time they're very pure. And if uh, you nourish them with vegan food also, then they continue to be like angels. Ah, wow. Growing up like angels. And you have all the best citizens in the world. They can keep the connection with heaven longer. Ah, yes, I understand now. And heaven can continue to guard over them. If you are vegan, you have at least one or two angels with you. Oh, okay. The five precepts. Not kill, not steal, not tell lies, no drugs, and no sexual misconduct. Each precept you keep, you have one angel. Ah, okay. Uh, protecting you, helping you, whispering to you wisdom so that you can do the right thing in the society, in your job and everything. That's incredible. Yeah, it is. So, so if you kill children, you are really chopping your own head. Oh, yes. You really condemn yourself to hell. And no one can help you. Yes, Master. That is the thing. People don't know all this. I'm trying to teach them. I hope they listen. I hope they understand. I hope they really can listen. I think they will. I hope so, yes. I have no reason to lie to you or anybody for this. No, Master. Yeah. What is it for me if they save their children or not? I don't even know them. I will never know. Yes, I understand. I do my job and they grow up, they work, they live their own life. I would never know who, who they are and what they do. Yes, Master. I will never get even a thank you from them. Yes, I understand. I'm just doing it because it's our duty to save our own people. That's right. We are human. We have to, to help each other. Yes, Master. Even animals, people, they don't kill their own. That's right. In Vietnam, we say hầm dữ, không ăn thịt con, meaning even the vicious tiger Person. won't eat his own children. Yes, that's right. We humans, we call them beasts, yes. wild beasts and all that, and they have more morals than us. Ah, yes. Isn't that the same? We can learn a lot from animals, people, but not to talk all about that. We have that moral obligation to each other. Yes, Master. That's why I'm working hard as a human. Yes. Because we live here, we have to protect each other, we have to give each other wise counsel as much as we can, and help save each other's lives. Yes, Master, and thank you for your wise counsel. Well, I just hope they listen. Otherwise, my words will have just gone to waste and life will still suffer. Yes, Master. All these beautiful, innocent babies. Imagine if it's you. You can't even defend yourself. Then you cry, nobody listens. Nobody cares. And you suffer in agony. Yes. You don't just die like that. You suffer before you die. Yes, Master. And all this fear before that, knowing your fate and begging for life, but nobody cares. No. Imagine if you so helpless like that. Yes, Master. Just imagine that, then you just want to save them, no? Yes, for sure, yes. We have to. All right, because it's just like you are. Yes. So, they are humans. They're humans. And to kill a human being, no matter what size, is a great sin against God against all the principles of any religion, against your own moral standard. So I can only conclude that they work for Satan, or they are possessed by Satan. Yes, they must be. Because their hearts were not pure. They're so greedy for gain and fame. And for that, uh, Satan can take hold of them and then influence them or possess them altogether. All oh, right. Or any time they need to possess, they will come to possess them, to say something, to do something that is harmful to humans, that makes the human further and further away from God. Yes, yes Master. Master. Jesus was crucified on the cross, and can you imagine how painful it was for him? Oh, yes. They do similar things to the babies in the womb. Yes. It's very painful to them, whatever they do. You see? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Either poison or kill them or injecting things or cutting them apart. Wow. To get them out, Terrible. cutting them into parts to get them out, whatever they do. It's, it's painful. Yes. yes. 
you see, excruciating pain. Yes, yes, yes sir. Especially for the tender baby. Yes. And here, the Pope gives tenderness, advises to have tenderness for these murderers, for these who cause the pain for these innocent babies. Yes. yes. Tenderness. He would end up paying in hell for causing that kind of pain. Sure. They don't know it yet. Because right now, their life is too good. Yes. yes. They live in luxury, in security, in safety, in abundance, and in extreme uh, respect from all sides. Yes. They don't know the pain they're going to get in hell. There's nowhere they can go except hell. Yes. Yes. Because heaven doesn't have these kind of people. Yeah. Yes, Master. Doesn't have this kind of quality. How can heaven accept them? Mm, that's yeah. right, Master. Just like in the world, if you're a criminal, if you're a murderer, you're in jail. You cannot be in a good society or any normal society even. Yes. Yes. Same. They don't know this. Oh my God, they study the Bible for what? Oh, I keep telling you, King David killed only one person. And then God punished the whole country even. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah, imagine how many babies, millions of babies they kill mm. in the world. Oh. And people trust the Pope. Yes, yes they do. Yes. Yeah, people believe in what he said and worship him like God's representative. Yes. And he utters things like that. It influences the whole world. Yes, that's right. Will. So how many more ignorant government officials or, or vulnerable uh, government People will decide the same like Biden or Pelosi. And more babies, helpless, will die painful, excruciating death. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yes. Agonizing death without being able to utter any word, mm-hmm. crying for help even. Yes. yes My biological mother was seven and a half months pregnant when she went to a Planned Parenthood and was advised and who they advised her to have a late-term saline abortion. This method of abortion burns the baby inside and out, blinding and suffocating the child, who is then born dead, usually within 24 hours. And there should be a photo there. Yes, this is what I survived. Instead of dying, after 18 hours of being burned in my mother's womb, I was delivered alive in an abortion clinic in Los Angeles on April the 6th, 1977. Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, said the following, the most merciful thing that a large family does to one of its infant members is to kill it. Planned Parenthood is not ashamed of what they have done or continue to do, but we will have to give an account as a nation before God for our apathy and for the murder of over 50 million children in the womb. Every time we falter, encourage as individuals and fail to confront this evil, I wonder how many lives have been lost in our silence while we make sure we are lauded among men. How come the law is not to protect innocent and helpless. Why does the law protect the criminals like Biden and Pelosi and his group and Harris? Yes. And the Pope condones it. He has to tell even his uh, pastors to treat them with tenderness even. My God. I don't know why I should carry our love. It's terrible. It's terrible. I feel, the, I feel for the babies who are murdered in such agonizing way. Yes, yes Master. They don't just die quick and die simple. No. Even if they die quick, they don't deserve to die like that. No, yes. Master. It's not their fault. No. And there are many solutions. They can make orphanages. Yes. yes. Adoption centers. They can give them away. They have so much money, you know, to do that. Especially America or Europe. Yes, Master. They can do it. Instead of Protecting humans, they are killing humans in war and in peace as well. Because uh, if uh, the government has an orphanage and uh, every woman who has like an unwanted pregnancy or unexpected pregnancy but could not keep 
the child for any reason at all because you know life is sometimes really not very kind yes, to women sure. or, or to people yes yes and she will be feeling very relaxed and secure because she knows the government will accept her child ah uh, yes then she would never want to kill her child oh yes yes i think 99.9 percent of women would never want to abort a child in their body yes i understand She can give it to the government the orphanage, yeah? Yes. Or maybe even uh, NGO will run it for the government. The government will just back them up. Oh, okay. Good idea.